Apiwa, one of a big community and family that lives in this wonderful natural place named Elix Mountain. It didn't take long for them to have children. Beavers are monogamous and made for life. Here you can see the kid. Most years one beaver family can have two to four kids. After three weeks a kid will begin to explore its surroundings. Beavers were mostly at home in the water where their webbed hind feet and large paddle-like tail make them powerful swimmers above and below the surface. But nowadays they also feel home at land. Sadly for decades they could not swim in the water nor drink it anymore because of the pollution left by the human species. Happily to some degree now the pollution is less so they can swim again but only drink if it's pumped through a filter. Because the beaver is a natural bone engineer this is less of a problem. Building things is one of their natural skills. Like marmots before, beavers normally feed on all kinds of vegetation. To avoid the toxics inside, till they are gone in some hundred more years, they now rely on fresh farmed food like carrots, grilled potatoes and bread. This great pond is entirely their own Creation. Only a few years ago, Pepley's stream flowed straight down the well. Then a family of beavers moved in and built a dam. The main body is built out of wood, with the trees they planted and sown with a sawmill. Energy to power these are also made purely out of regrowing natural resources. Water wheels and even windmills are used. Humans would have been clever to do the same. It's been built so accurately that even a human craftsman couldn't have done any better. The slightest leak, for example trickling water, will make them repair immediately. They won't leave the leak until fully repaired. Maintaining the water at a high level brings the beavers several advantages. It floats the surroundings where it is planted to, it enables them to swim in safety, it prevents areas drying out because of droughts and of course because of drinking purposes. Here you can see how they fell a tree. They do this by chewing the tree's trunk uniformly all around the base, devoting one or more nights to the task until gravity takes over and it topples. This is possible with their orange teeth, which are literally steel. It's actually iron in the teeth. One strange thing is, the back surfaces of the incisors are exposed to dentin. It might seem like a disadvantage, but because of the dentin in the back wears away faster, it creates a sloping angle on the teeth, a perpetual edge. You might wonder, where are all the other animals? Well, Humans even made most life extinct, but we are sure that this beautiful beaver animals will bring back life and diversity to earth. I'm sure they give a damn. Hey, thank you for watching. Thanks to the lovely team of Timberborn. Also, I want to thank you, Sir David Attenborough. I wish you a healthy long life and I hope people will at some point understand how important that nature, especially the beaver is. I suggest you watching this following video about beavers from BBC and Sir David Attenborough. Have a nice weekend everyone. Cheers.